Bank of Japan added 10 trillion yen in liquidity injections today after a surge in the yen threatened economic growth. We partner now with the FT to bring you Lexon Bloomberg. You get a sneak peek at the Financial Times' flagship column a day early. Ben McLennan joining us now live from Hong Kong. Ben, always glad to see you. So the Bank of Japan made this move to try to curb the yen's advance, but it is clearly failing. So what comes next? Yeah, as we've heard from your markets correspondents, it hasn't worked. If the aim was to, uh, uh, to weaken the yen, uh, it's, it's stronger today than it was on Friday. So by that simple metric, um, it, it, it's failed. Of course, it's a little early to say because the UK, the biggest forex market in the world, is closed for bank holidays. So perhaps we should reserve judgment on that front. And also on the other front, uh, whether this serves to stimulate uh, lending uh, within Japan also, uh, we should perhaps reserve judgment. But um, history suggests that it, that it won't. Uh, back in December, uh, when this program was started with 10 trillion uh, of assets, um, uh, lending was, was very much uh, moribund and it, in, in March when it was expanded to 20 that there was no um, increase in lending and so going to 30 by that uh, simple measure it, it probably won't have much effects either. So Ben I mean what else can the BOJ do? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, the BOJ is not technically in, in charge of um, Japan's FX policy. That's the responsibility of the Ministry of Finance. Uh, but the world has very much changed since 2004, which is the last time uh, uh, that the ministry uh, used the BOJ to intervene in a very big way, standing about 15 trillion uh, of yen. Uh, since then, of course, there's been all this hostility towards China for exchange rate manipulation. And the G20 started putting language into its communiques back in 2007, uh, making a very express commitment to exchange rate flexibility in it. and the lack of uh, manipulation. And uh, since, uh, since November 2008, that was the last um, time a, a, a Japanese finance minister tried to talk down the yen, uh, there's really been moves in only one direction, which is to more liberal uh, FX markets. So the chances of, of Japan convincing anyone on the G20 uh, to intervene in, in a big way uh, to, to sell the yen and buy the dollar are very slim. So we know there's a meeting next week, Ben. I mean, how is this sort of political machinations versus this idea of intervention? I mean, what's the most likely scenario? Well, the most likely scenario, this is just um, foreshadowing. Uh, the, the, the interest rate will stay the same, of course, and, uh, and the program will, uh, will be expanding. Um, the, the overall outlook for Japan is, is very bleak and, uh, and just gets bleaker. All right, Ben, we thank you very much. Ben McClanahan joining us there from thank Hong you. Kong on the very latest.